Alright, so using my calculator, which I have a $120 calculator, that's why we powered on. And, uh, current. So, here we go. Okay, so, if you didn't already know, volts times amps equals watts. You probably already know that. Or you might not, I don't know. But you do know. Volts times amps equals watts. And how you get uh, that is, if everything has a voltage, Everything has an amp, amps, or load, volts and load, or amp, or ampere. I think it's the full name is ampere. And uh, any load that you hook up to anything, you get the volts, which drops usually for battery wise. It drops always a little bit, and then the amps is you use to. Now, for multimeter purposes, you use your amps. And you, uh, for multimeters, 9 out of 10, well, way more than that. Remember, in order for you to um, measure current, you always have to put it in the current slot, not, not volts. Well, I had those mixed up, oh well. Uh, but you always put this in amps, the amps slot, not volts. And another thing is when you're measuring amps, do not... Uh, short your leads across the battery itself that will kill your meter and blow your hands off if you don't have a good meter if you have a good meter it should it will probably blow the fuse inside the meter but this I don't think has a extremely awesome fuse in it so do not in any way case or form short the leads with the battery itself if you do that it will break your meter or it will damage your battery and yeah, it's it's just essentially you putting a piece of wire between the terminals of the battery and having some fuses in the way. That will pop your fuse. Don't do it. So it's like a really big tip because if you do that wrong, you're gonna blow something. And you know, you might be okay with like these smaller, tinier batteries, which this one I got out of the 3DS. Um some of the bigger batteries over there, that can be pretty lethal. You'll get a pretty nasty shock. And especially if you're working like in really huge, like deep cycle marine batteries, that will, yeah, they'll blow your hand, hand off. No questions asked. So, yeah, just saying. So, back to what I was saying is volts, amps, watts. So, now, uh, if you want to get watt hours, which basically that's how much. Uh, current um, volts, given volts, and given amp hours, which I'll explain in just a second. Uh, if you know those two values, you'll know how many watt. Oh, sorry, how many watt hours there is. If you know uh, watt hours, will basically tell you um, basically how much power you can pull out of it, uh, pull out of a battery or given resistance or power supply or whatever you want to call it. So, this can be important for battery or marine or other purposes. Battery-wise, it could be a little important, but amp hours are a little bit more important. Which, by the way, amp hours. In most batteries, they do tell you the amp hours. And in some cases, they will give you the watt hours. So, as you can see, 3.7 volts, uh, 1,750 milliamp hours, 6.5 watts. So... That, uh, this one's actually quite small, so. So now that you know what that is, let's try to see if we can, uh, calculate the watt hours using these bigger batteries over here. Let's go. Alright, so I have the smaller 12 volt battery that I have right now. So currently, this battery is, as I said, 12 volts, 12 amp hours. I did not know, I didn't do research on it, though. Should. Uh, I do not know what the 20 hour is, but I can assure you, I don't think it's 20 watt hours. I think it's a little bit higher than that. So, let's take it, let's give it a look. So, here's, here's my calculator. I'm going to put next to it, get in the light, because I have bad lighting. So, you see that screen? Yeah. Alright. So, if we take 12, and then we take the amp hours multiplying them together, you see we get 144 watt hours. 
So this battery is 144 watt hours. So it could help you with like uh, how much load you can pull from these batteries, I guess, and how much total load you can pull. So like if you, as a comparison, this fan that I used in my previous video is about 65 watts because I took behind here, which you probably can't read it very well, you see it says 12 volts AC, 0 0.55 amps. Now I've put that into the calculator. You see I get about 66 watts. So this draws about 66 watts. So that means it can run this fan for just, oh, just under two hours, basically. You can use that for figure out how much load you can run these batteries off. So. so now that we know with this one, which is 144 watt hours, let's try with the bigger, the little bit bigger one, which is this one right here. Alright, so where is it? Oh, sorry for the light. So we got 12 volts at 18 amp hours. So 12 times 18. So we get 216 watt hours. And if you want to know like how much a particular load you have, you could take your watt hours and subtract it from your watts. I mean divide, and you'll tell it'll tell you how many hours you'll be able to run. So if I take this battery and see how long I'll run this fan, he'll run oh, sorry. It's an he'll run it for three about three and a half just under three and a half hours. Just yeah, three and a half hours. So, with the you can combine watt hours though. Um, if you even put if you put them in parallel, or if you put them in series, I think watt uh, watt hours will not matter. The only thing that will change is either your amp hours or your volts will change, which will always make the watt hours the same. If you do them either way. In fact, I'll prove it. If we're going to put these in series, so we still use 12 volts and 12 volts, and we add them together, but the only thing is we have to keep it at the lower amp hour rating. Because if either that or we average it, but if I'm going to do it and put them in series, well, first of all, let me put this out first. You probably don't want to use these, uh, you probably want to use the same capacity batteries. If you're going to be using them in series and parallel, it doesn't matter because you just add the amp hours together. But for volt, for if you're going to put them in uh, series to make 24 volts, you could average them. But I usually go with the uh, lowest. So if we take 12, 24 volts, and then multiply it by uh, 12, we get 288. But since I use the lower value, this value is going to be a little bit higher when I put them if I add the amp hours. So 12 times 40. You see, okay, I must have did something wrong. That should be much lower. Let me see if I did something wrong. Alright, so I wasn't able to figure out actually a way if you're going to do them in series. So my suggestion is, is don't put different types of batteries in series because because I wasn't able to calculate any uh, a uh, close value, so you should uh, either buy the same battery type if you're going to put them in series, either that or don't put them in series and buy 24 volt batteries instead of 12 volts if you're going to get a higher voltage. So now that we have the bigger ones, let's try to see if we can figure out the lower value, the smaller batteries, which we already know this one is 6.5 watts. Which, you know what? I'm going to prove my theory. If that's the 6.5 watts or lower. So, let me put let me put it into the calculator. Oh yeah, when you enter the values, it has to be in amps. So, it cannot be in milliamp hours, because it has to be standard values. Otherwise, your values won't come out right. And yes, that is actually pretty close. Oh, lighting. Uh, 
Uh, it's 6.5, and the calculator says 6.45. So that extra little is probably for just marketing, because you're not going to put 6.45 or whatever. So that's... All right, so that's close. Now this one right here does not have the watt hours. So, and this is a... Uh, this is a little battery pack for the cam for this camera that I'm recording with. So let's put it into the calculator and see what our value is. So three. I need to clean the lens. Sorry. The lens must be dirty. That's why it's uh with the glares. Make sure to put them in standard values. Don't put. 1,800 in there because that won't work. 6.48. So this is about this battery is about six and a half watt hours. So there you go. So that's just a little help video, I guess you could say, contributing to my solar project. You know, if you found this helpful, leave it a like. Maybe you could subscribe. I don't know. It's your choice, and uh, see you the next vid, I guess. Or not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing my next vid. You'll just have to wait and see, which probably is not going to be too long from now. Oh well, I'm kind of a video. See you next vid. Hello, Ninja Power Tech here, and today we're going to be talking about something that I discussed in a recent video. Well, I'm at last video, but uh, I was explaining about my battery system, right? And uh, I was explaining uh, amp hours, right, and volts and stuff, and then uh, I didn't really go deep into how you can get, um, explain what amp hours are, and how can that affect how much power you can get out of the batteries and stuff, and how can you get uh, watt hours and stuff, which I'll explain later in the video. So, and I'm, this video is particular to, for you to take a battery of any type, and using the volts and amp hours you can get watt hours and you can put them into a calculator yes I'm charging my calculator uh, so yeah and then I'll after I explain these three batteries and how they work I'm gonna be applying to those two batteries over there so let's get going 